Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and today we will learn this beautiful business infographic design. So before moving further, watch this. Forms are the best way to capture leads and information. The all new PDF element 7 from Wondershare has some awesome features to create custom forms very easily. The best part is the easy to understand options which save time and increase efficiency. You just need to select the form items like text box, radial buttons, drop down elements etc. And guess what? Your form is ready. PDF element 7 is the complete PDF solution for your business. For more information, visit the links mentioned in the description. So guys please subscribe to our channel, join the membership, hit the notification bell icon so that you will get regular notifications. So now let's start the tutorial here. So in today's tutorial as you can see uh, in the beginning of this video that it's a infographic um, isometric design where I have placed a pie chart kind of circle at the center and six points around it so, so so the circle is divided into six parts and around that I have written six points six points of process or workflows or list items anything you want to showcase here so here we have inserted a circle and after that I have inserted this triangle shape duplicate it rotate it vertically place it at the bottom select both these make sure outline is select to no outline and then merge these shapes and place at the center of the circle like this make sure it is center and middle aligned now we will duplicate this shape here rotate it by 60 degrees like this again place it at the center and in the middle so alignment is important here now again duplicate it and again rotate it by 60 degrees and you will get a shape like this so now our basic shape is ready and it's the base of this business infographic design and on the basis of this we will create the complete design now what we want to do is we want to divide this circle into six parts so for that you have to insert this kind of rectangle here and rotate it by 60 degrees again so once you have placed this rectangle at 60 degrees uh, the next step would be to fill it with different color so that we can identify uh, we can easily differentiate it with the other shapes on the slide now duplicate it you know rotate it horizontally and place it like this so now select the circle select the shape merge shapes subtract now again select the circle select green shape subtract and now you're left with this much circle here now again insert the rectangle here we just need one portion of it the sixth slice that we need and rest we will fill so we just need one part of this complete circle that's one sixth of it now what we're gonna do is we have duplicated the slide so that we have a backup now now we have filled the shape with different color and place it on the previous slide where we have all the shapes here select all group rotate by 60 degrees again paste select all Control G group and rotate by 60 degrees repeat the same process here Control V paste that one part select all press Control G to group the items and rotate it by 60 degrees keep on repeating the step for the fourth time and keep on repeating the process until you 
get the complete full circle so here we have filled the fifth part as well so now comes the last part here press ctrl V and your circle is now complete now you have a complete circle divided into six parts now keep on ungrouping all the items now first we have grouped all the items now we have to ungroup so you have to repeat the ungroup process again and again until all the items are ungrouped now remove these arrows from here and also remove the background yellow circle so now you have ungrouped all the items now fill yellow color in it and then group it again go to effects option select this 3d rotation change the material to metal now you should increase the depth as you can see on your screen right now so in the meantime you should subscribe to our channel also you should join the membership that will really help now change the lighting angle here as you can see this is looking like a gold ring now and that's what we want to achieve here so this is the main component of this beautiful business and uh, isometric design here now insert this circle and place it like this I've slightly increased the size and place it at the bottom behind this gold ring now let's change the color to light blue here so now you can see on the screen it's looking much better now so let's create some light effect here insert this rectangle remove its outline now fill gradient color into it white on the first node slightly dark on the third node and on the second node keep it white again increase the transparency to 100% on the first node on the second keep it like you know 20 to 30 percent now increase the width of this rectangle and send it to back and you can see a really beautiful effect light effect is coming out of the screen so the design is almost complete here at the center let's place it at the center use the align option so I'm still you know experimenting with the placement let's change the uh, base circle to black we can also fill the pattern here that will also look really nice so let's try some patterns here so it's totally up to you you can experiment here try different things and fill whatever looks good to you you don't have to go with my style here you can try different patterns and you can also fill some kind of image here very nice gradient now on the light effect I have changed the blue color and white to yellow so that gold ring is emitting some glow a golden glow here so now let's group these items now duplicate that bottom circle send it to back solid fill increase the transparency and shift it like this so it's like a shadow effect so here I am not satisfied with the pattern fill on the bottom circle so I've changed the pattern now 
so I'm using different patterns so as I said earlier as well keep on trying different things keep on you know uh, trying new patterns new style new fonts and that way you will improve your creative skills and never get satisfied with your design if you think your design is looking beautiful so come back after 15 minutes then relook it again and you will see that you want to do something on it and you want to slightly improve it so that way you will really improve your creative and design skills so I have increased the depth for the base circle here black one so our infographic design is almost complete now let's fill some text items here so here you can try anything you want you are you know you have all the freedom to try different things you can also use a different kind of format here where you can place this infographic design on the left and text on the right so you have total creative freedom here so I am inserting some dummy text here so I will write three points on the left and three on the right so total six points as our circle has six parts so I have fast forwarded this part where I've inserted the dummy text so it's not something really difficult you already know how to insert text and text styling here so on the left and right I've also inserted you know the in yellow shaped rectangles now let's insert heading business infographics so your corporate presentation template might be different so you might be having left aligned titles there so you can write in your title box as per your template so I hope you really like the design of this slide so please hit the subscribe button also hit the like button you can also join the membership as well by joining the membership you will support us and that support will motivate us to bring out more such beautiful videos also you can share this video within your circle your friend circle your college your colleagues or in your office so or even on your Instagram or Facebook posts so that will also help and also you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section so thank you everyone you guys have been such a lovely and wonderful audience and thanks for watching till the end thank you bye bye peace